the same category. So we are in a clutter ecosystem, right? So what will stand today in today's time is if you have gone steps ahead in forming connections, in doing things which is much more than the others. So those things will stand out, which means that your brand, you will only stand out if you have gone steps ahead in forming connections. Now, create a listening for your brand beyond the standard branding mandates, which we just shared. So there is, as I said, you know, there is an internal unspoken words and gestures. There's an external unspoken words and gestures, which we have missed on or which we are already continuing missing. So that is something we need to be very, very sensitive about because between your APL exercises, your BTL exercises or whatever the environment you are working in to take your brand from A to Z, you know, there is something called engagement. There is something called experience. There's something called delighting the customer. There's something called, uh, you know, sharing the knowledge internally, externally, which we are all missing on. There is, there's something called uh, gestures. There's something called, you know, without speaking, you speak a lot. So all that is being missed because we are not really focusing on all that. There's a power of social listening, of course, because that is already there in the environment we are working on. And that is very strong. We can't ignore today in today's scenario. But what I'm saying is that there is a power of engagement. There's a power of emotional connect, which we again need to really, really make it strong in our system of things. So I just wanted to know from everybody who's here, you know, do you understand or are you implementing the unspoken words and gestures which I'm going to be taking you through in your system in today's uh, scenario? If we in the real time, are we doing it? Can people just, you know, add value by chat, you know, putting it in the chat? Yes or no. Can I see some responses? Are we doing this? Yeah. Okay. Can we type yes or no? More people. Right. So a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of my friends here have said no. So fair enough. Let's, uh, you know, go through this and we will understand how to do it. And if you are not been doing, probably we can take it up. So, the, you know, we all need to understand that branding is not an overnight thing. You know, aapne ek naam socha, usko register karwaya. CA ko bola company khol do. Uh, sari formalities kar do. Aapne jake bank account khol diya. And aapne bola chalu ho gaya branding. Brand ban gaya or branding chalu ho gaya. And you feel that overnight you'll be superheroes. But my dear friends, do you really think that? Does your brand really become an overnight hero? No. It's a process. It's a patient process. The problem is that marketers, you know, they, they're completely on a different wavelength. Most of the marketers, what, what they feel is clicks ho gaya, page views ho gaya, website ho gaya, time uh, spent on each page of the website ho gaya. And all that report comes to you after 15 days. And though that is all the analysis which you do sitting in your, you know, plush offices. And that's about it. But for me, branding is much beyond it is a step in depth step forward what marketers need to keep in mind is that conversion optimization is a process fair enough it's not a moment it's a whole marketing funnel not just the five minutes that it takes for your customers to sign a contract or commit to sale no there's much beyond it again i'm repeating there's much beyond it you know there's a, com a emotional connect which you have to create there's an engagement there's a consistency you have to hear what your internal staff is saying about you as a brand and as a, uh, you know, a custodian of the brand. So how do you do that? 
you know that is something which we are going to be sharing so brand other ban gaya hai for example any uh, mcdonald's say uh, cold coffee you know people are holding it people are liking it starbucks coffee people are holding it because people have an emotional connect with that brand but that emotional connect hasn't been made overnight people have built on it on it for years and years and years and years so that is something we need to realize in today's world there are influencers we feel that number of clicks they uh, you know endorse our brand uh, the number of clicks will actually define the brand loyalty and that will have a conversion that's fine that is one part only similarly again on the social media all these things are important but then there is beyond that as well links followers fair enough but then what more people listen about you if you're not already monitoring your brand on online now is the time the internet isn't getting any smaller and people aren't going to rely on it any less in the coming years in action now has to be converted to action and i think this 40 days of time of lockdown has been the best time for us to actually introspect the direction of our brand where it is where it will be in times to come if we do not put few things into action or add value to our brand so all those things all those introspections should have been done by most of us and if it is not done i think we still have a week or so to go so it is the right time to do it and make steps to progress on that step right the steps which we create but if you don't like what you hear you can now the thing is that even on the even on the uh, you know uh, online format there are a lot of things there are a lot of things which are not so good not everything is good there right so why companies are spending so much money on online reputation management because there are things which the company is getting from the uh, ecosystem of the customers and those things are usually not really you know i would say not always the best to hear for our ears but you're still kind of you know creating information and insights which helps for the overall improvements but you're still opening your mind to hearing that so that is one part right which is online but then overall that is a ecosystem you can't ignore today because internet is the space you have to be present in again coming back to you are you purely listening to every aspect which is related to branding you have to question it in your ecosystem are you doing it is that it what you're doing or are you missing on something as everybody in the chat has said no we are not doing what needs to be done in terms of unspoken words right all the things which you're doing online or presenting yourself to the client is all spoken words but unspoken words kya hote hain that is what we are going to be learning today this is a small uh, exercise which we need to do in our ecosystem you can click this picture or i can share it later what is the objective of your brand who is the audience you're tapping what is the tone you want to address your customer you know in what kind of tone that is your brand personality actually the so tone style examples we love in terms of brands across the world which we can actually follow the do's of your company don'ts of your company have we done this if we have not done it then how how do you expect that the brand personality of your company will be defined aren't you missing on this the reason why i'm saying is that the moment you define a tone a style of your brand the do's the don'ts the brands i love i want to follow the best practices of then only you will be able to take your internal customer through it but if you as a brand custodian does not know the tonality of your brand or the style of your brand or you know what you're trying to achieve through your brand then what is what is the paper or the presentation which you will actually use to induct your new customers and similarly 
what is the modality you will use forever with your sales force in terms of training to them you know that that, that is a way we represent our company outside and similarly you will also represent your company in the same way if i am saying that this is the uniform of my company then we all have to follow right from the custodian of the brand till you know down the line and then in that same uniform i am actually going and representing my brand outside in the environment as well ah uh, so the point is that we need to put at least five points which define me as a brand and take that in a consistent manner and follow it all over in every touch point everything which we do but i don't think we are doing that because we go to a client's space you know without any communication skills in mind we don't know what we represent there is a tonality which we represent as a brand all that is missing jab aapke internal customer ko nahi pata hota ki hamara brand kis liye khada hai kis values ke liye khada hai to aap kaise expect kar sakte ho ki bahar ka customer jo aapko pehli baar jaan raha hai wo can actually come and sync with everything which you want to represent right so we are we are really missing on a lot of things it's time that you put these points in your uh, i think a framed format in your offices and take your internal team through it and then make sure that every touch point which you are actually going and communicating to your external audience all these tonalities are also fulfilled to the t and then there has to be somebody you are responsible in terms of reporting because somebody should be able to see or audit you ki aapki company ki tonality ye hai ya style ye hai internally hum audit karke ye pata to kare ki hum kar rahe hain ya nahi kar rahe hain similarly externally also if somebody has to audit you time and again do you actually relate with these brands the brand on the left side do you can i have some answers in the chat box please yes or no do we relate with this brand yeah do we relate with these brands yes yes so do you think these brands have been made overnight no they have taken time to evolve but at the same time there are common case studies common points in the case studies if we go in the depth of each brand be it apple be it bmw be it disney be it amazon be it starbucks you know there's an experiential environment which these brands have created over a consistent effort by making a strategy internally which has percolated from the top guy to the down the line guy a technician or a, a mechanic in the bmw workshop likewise in the server at starbucks stores across the world there has been a consistent sop which has been done even if they are not speaking there are lot of gestures or uh experiences which you get when you get in touch with these brands isn't it you get into a starbucks and you get that comfort level you are not disturbed so that is a consistent thing across starbucks in the world so there are some consistent efforts which these guys have done even without speaking at times those are the gestures which they have shown the smile the the uh, you know the the gesture of uh, lending a hand a helping hand nodding which means that whatever you have spoken even a small utter uttering of word has been acknowledged by them so these brands have really engaged you and made you eventually loyal to them so those are the steps which we need to follow at our systems also there are some these are the big brands of course have spent a lot of money on atls and btl exercises but then not necessarily we all msmes or smes must be having that much of money of course i believe that and i i am with you on that but there are other ways of touching the customers 
the there are other ways to have a network of people who start valuing you and who also start endorsing your brand they become your referrals you create a star, you know complete uh, team of referrals who give you referrals in this hard times also you create a brigade for yourself but wo brigade tabhi banti hai when you show empathy when you show uh, you know some gestures of yours which are of a concern now in these slow down what what goes it's hardly a uh, you know one minute job if you actually send a nice message touching the hearts of everybody and saying that you know stay safe and you know uh, let's uh, uh, connect in case of any health needed i'm always there it's a small message one minute but then you actually get reconnected right these are some indian brands who have also done wonderfully well but then again i'm coming to the same point it's not just the monies which they have spent there are other touch point factors which they have built consistently over time now we've already discussed about brand personality the values the tonality the style which we have not really defined internally in our system that's very important because if you actually define those personalities then you hold responsibility of those personalities and you actually take this down internally plus you the same values go outside because those become your training programs those become the way you represent yourself and so on and so forth because all these things are are developed over time and they are not they don't happen by accident they are all planned well in advance right now there might be a question which might be coming from your mind in your mind you know ki brand personalities aati kahan se hain a brand personality can be whatever its leadership wants it to be virgin atlantic airlines if anybody has traveled it's fun they are very quirky you know any day they would just uh, uh, make a area red in color or yellow in color or purple in color for that matter but does it really serve any direct impact on sales is a question which you know would would be coming to you if you're actually traveling uh, through it but yes there is a connect because there is a engagement there's a dialogue which starts oh virgin is very very you know they can surprise us any time so those are their steps of engaging the customer you know making them feel that they are up for surprises they might be some you know all of a sudden they might just announce something special something you know as a value add for you while you're traveling so those are actually coming from richard branson so a brand personality is always defined from its leadership what values you want to actually exhibit from your you know uh, related to your brand a serious brand professional brand combination of characteristics what's most important is that the company defines it up front and the process should capture the entire time not just to select few managers within the organization which is a major 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 problem in most organizations i have been at least because kya hota hai you you create some strategies which are only centric to the top management in an off site or in the ivory tower so to speak और वो जो नीचे जिन्होंने इम्प्लीमेंट करना था टैक्टिकल स्टाफ दे डोंट नो अबाउट इट उनको पता ही नहीं होता कि ये स्ट्रेटेजी हमारी कंपनी ने अडॉप्ट करने का प्लान किया है आपके मार्केटिंग बजट्स बनते हैं आपकी स्ट्रेटजीज बनती हैं स्ट्रेटजीज तो कभी शेयर ही नहीं होती मार्केटिंग बजट तक नहीं शेयर होते आई एम टॉकिंग फ्रॉम अ परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ अ एक्सपीरियंस विच हैव गेन्ड इन वन ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल चेन आई वर्क फॉर सेवन ईयर्स so when i joined i took it from the predecessor my predecessor told me that ye budget to aapne bana liya but then keep it to your you know system keep it to your system i said if i have seven girls in my team and i don't share it with them how do they know ki ye budgets hame usko utilize bhi karna hai so that is a point we we are either fearful or we want to be very secretive about things or uh, you know there is some hanky panky around it we don't want to share it the point is agar aapne organization khadi karni hai if you don't take the entire team with you then i mean the question mark is that organization khadi bhi karni hai because the whole team is not with you right so that is very important you should know that the selection of few strategies has to be shared with the team who is actually you know 
uh, going to be implementing it on the ground. Then comes the same things, you know, uh, it's not shared. And the reason why is that your team members at the ground level, they need to implement it. They need to believe it. They need to be passionate about it. You need to address it to them. So if you're not doing it, I think that is a very, very big thing. Uske result kya hota hai? Unspoken words, gestures within the team, uh, irritation, uh, not belonging or getting that empowerment feeling within the company. Why is the internal staff so unhappy? Because we, we have given them those reasons to be unhappy. So the best is that you actually communicate to them, let them be a part of you. Let them be a part of your business growth. But we do not And we say that we are a brand. So unspoken words are more dangerous, my dear friends, because they would not say anything to the management, but then they are already creating a great fine. I'll just share uh, what my personality is, you know, uplifter's personality. Excellence, commitment, transparency describes uplifter. We believe in listening you and not just listen, we try to understand you. We believe in building brands from the heart. We believe in being engaged with our clients through our passion, through our energies. So energy, passion, listening is what I stand for. I, my, Mane, my team of 15 people we stand for. Uplifters personality, right? So this is something which you need to create in the back of the office, very important. Now, you know, everybody must have heard about Peter Drucker. Now, when, we, when Atul told me that, uh, you know, uh, listening, unspoken words, that's very, very true in the environment, in, in, you know, the entire environment of uh, marketing, because verbal is only 35% uh, friends. Non-verbal is 65% which we ignore. I mean, non-verbal is such a big part that 20, 30 minutes may cover nahi ho sakta, but I just want to make you aware that it is the most ignored part in branding. Non-verbal may aata hai aapke facial expressions. You know, the way you speak, the way you smile, the way you hold yourself, the frowns on your face speak a lot. The, the uh, you know, the eye movement speaks a lot and it's a complete science around it. These are sessions of days and weeks because they're so in-depth. Your tonality of the voice, which is so very important. Agar aapne, aap, best of the brands we bech rahe ho na, agar aapka sales ka jo uh, officer hai, ya sales executive hai, jo client se ja, ke paas ja ke interface kar raha hai, agar uske tonality mein thoda sa bhi, aisa kuch ho gaya, jise aapke client uh, gets very repulsive or irritated, irritated. If you irritate that client, even if you are the best product, he will just move steps backward. So what is important? Your product is definitely important, but the sales force who's driving it is more important. And most important is the body language which they're holding. So are we spending time on the skill development of that body language for our sales force or our team internally or also for educating our own selves because our body language consciously unconsciously we don't know how to give such expressions that we interpret a lot you know we can create a complete story around it we don't know how to give because we unconsciously depict it so don't you think this 65% of non-verbal communication which is eye contact, gestures, posture. Aap bete pe bete ho, aap kaise bete ho? You know, aap straight bete ho, aap folded legs se bete ho, aap ke haath kaan pe hain, ye sab ek story create karte hain. Hum is pe dhyan de rahe hain, question mark. Eye contact hain, already discussed kar diya. Ab aata hai sab se bada, sab se bada topic. Wo hai appearance, grooming, so, if you revenue earn revenue, example, hypothetically, thousand rupees a month, in this case, eight hundred rupees, you are spending on your operations. Hypothetically, two hundred rupees, from one hundred rupees, you need to spend on your expenses. 
क्या आप अपने ऊपर पांच या दस रुपए नहीं खर्च सकते इज इन दैट इंपॉर्टेंट वोट फॉर मैन वोट फॉर फीमेल ग्रूमिंग अपेरेंस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग एनीबडी इंटरनली एक्सटर्नली कम्स ए क्रॉस एंड देन वेन यू ओपन योर माउथ दैट्स नेक्स्ट टाइम बट योर अपेरेंस इज द फर्स्ट वन देन योर जेस्टर्स आर द सेकेंड वन and the third are your spoken words and fourth is of course you know a series of things i think that is so very important to spend on yourself if you really love yourself you need to spend on that because if you love yourself then you love your brand if you do that then the environment also learns from you ab appearance mein to bahut kuch aata hai right bahut kuch aata hai main to thoda sa hi aaj share kar sakti hu kyunki time atul ne bahut kam diya hai so grooming mera bahut ek favorite subject hai because i give uh, lectures in uh, amit and uh, jp school and isdf also so it's a complete session on grooming ab maine main bahut sare webinars in dino mein hum sabhi attend kar rahe hain you know people just come as if they are just woken up and they, are, they just sit and they all representing a brand men for example you know they have stumbles on on their face right uh i mean that puts you off honestly that really puts you off if you are preparing yourself to be visible then you have to be visible in the right way you want people to remember you nahi to apna apna video off kar do that's better but don't sit as if you know you've just woken up from the bed and you've not even washed your face guys and you're sitting there That's very important. Grooming एक बहुत बड़ा सब्जेक्ट है जो बोलता नहीं है जो दिखता है और ये अनस्पोकन वर्ड्स अनस्पोकन जेस्टर्स का बहुत बड़ा बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग पार्ट है ठीक है हाँ ये तो है एक जस्ट हैंड शेक कैसे करते हो आप कई लोग तो आपका हाथ ही तोड़ देते हैं यू नो आप हैंड हैंड शेक कर रहे हो और वो इतना हार्ड आपका आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट मेल टू फीमेल राइट there has to be a style to do it and leave at a particular time wo cheeze tabhi ho sakti hai jab hum face to face ho you know there is a system to do it you hold somebody's hand and you know shake it uh, you know uh, kind of uh, show your warmth you know while touching his or her hand and you need to take it off after a few seconds you can't just keep holding it right अब तो मुझे लगता है आफ्टर कोविड नमस्कार ही होगा हाथ शेक नहीं होगा सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग सो आई थिंक वो बेटर है वो बेटर है राइट योर एक्सप्रेशन किस मूड से आप बैठे हुए हो पोस्टर्स एटीट्यूड मूवमेंट बिहेवियर एनर्जी जो मिसिंग है इसमें से सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट क्या एनर्जी से आप आ रहे हो आर यू क्रिएटिंग एन और इन द रूम यू आर इन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वो और तभी आएगा जब आप पॉजिटिव हो राइट दीज आर थिंग्स यू नो दे आर स्टैंडिंग पोस्टर स्पीक अलॉट बहुत कुछ बता देते हैं बिना बोले क्लोज माइंड इन पेशेंस डिफेंसिव नॉट ओपन टू कम्युनिकेशन आपकी आंखें छोटी बड़ी होती है तो बहुत कुछ बता देती हैं बट यू लाइन राइट can i get some responses saying whether it's adding value to you or not can i get some messages saying whether it's adding value to you or not now we are sitting in front of our internal staff or we are sitting outside networking or in front of our clients are we an effective listener or we are a very very i would say uh, something is disturbing us and we want that conversation to just finish and see how much money we are able to make and hum wahan se bas uth jaye ye bahut hota hai 
because we are not very comfortable sitting for a longer time we want ki jo hamara mudda hai wo khatam ho and we move out see you need to understand that person who's actually in front of you he's coming from a different school of thought you need to be still alert you need to be still responsive you need to be still non distracted you need to be empathetic you need to be non interpret interrupting because that's a respect which you are actually giving him be an active listener watch for the non verbal messages what he's trying to tell you or give you listen to the words listen to the emotions behind them be a patient listener of course if he's too much of a speaker then you have a deadline for your own meeting you need to politely put it forth but those are styles you need to you know put it forth but you being you know in front of that person and not speaking anything you have to show that you are an effective listener words may say yes and body language may say no ye bhi bahut hota hai you know you are you are sitting there but you are still not sitting there your body language speaks a lot aapka eye contact uske sath contact mein nahi hai which means there is no point of sitting there these things you have to question are you doing that the reason is this these are all brain things you know these are all working in the brain we speak about 100 to 200 words per minute and this is uh, every time and think at about 5 because we think faster right so lot of things are cooking up in your mind aur jo aap bolte ho aur jo aap sochte ho uske beech mein jo lag time hai usme aapne kahani bana li us bande ke bare mein to jo wo jo expression aapke face pe aa gaye na wo usne pad lene hain वो पढ़ लेने हैं उसने उसने अपना होमवर्क कर लिया आपके बारे में अब वो कल को बिजनेस दे नहीं दे वो कहेगा लेट्स गेट बैक ब्ला 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 एंड बट ही फॉर्म आई वुड से अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपिनियन अबाउट यू बिकॉज आपने कुछ बोला नहीं आपने कुछ बोला नहीं बट बहुत कुछ बोल भी दिया राइट सो दीज थिंग्स वी हैव टू इंट्रोस्पेक्ट बिकॉज इट गो अलॉन्ग वे अलॉन्ग वे इन क्रिएटिंग योर ओन पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग and also in creating a branding for your brand right both these things cannot be separated guys these things cannot be separated because aapki personal branding is liye powerful hai because aapne create kiya brand aur aapka brand to brand hi hai jisko aap bahut level tak lekar jana chahte ho right so coming back you know your vocabulary your choice of words choice of words hum irritated hain हम बहुत इरिटेटेड है बहुत गुस्से में है सुबह मेड से लड़ाई हो गई है या हस्बैंड से लड़ाई हो गई है या वाइफ से लड़ाई हो गई है कुछ गड़बड़ हो गया है एंड वी रीच द ऑफिस एंड वी आर लाइक रेग वी आर एंग्री और वो एंगर कहाँ निकलता है हम इतने ऑर्गेनाइज तो है नहीं कि हम वो पेपर में हर चीज लिखेंगे अपने सब को कॉन्शियस पेपर पे लिख कर उसको फाड़ देंगे वी डोंट डू दैट वी टेक इट आउट ऑन पीपल हु आर पीपल इन आर Team or anybody who comes across that day, you know, he's our, he's our. I would say bait. Is that right? And we have meetings also which are set. Is that right? As I said, you know, tune into customers. We have to fine tune our voices. Your customer can be your chai wala. Your customer can be, you know, anybody uh, in the parking lot. Your customer can be your staff. your customer can be of course the biggest thing your client who gives you money and you are surviving because of him so aapke tonality on the phone the silence in the in uh, while you not even talking also speaks a lot when the customer or the other person say something or aap silence mein ho gaye right it speaks a lot so all these things you know develop a high degree of consciousness of how you sound to the other people आपने तो बोला उसके बाद यार मैंने तो कुछ बोला ही नहीं उसको बट दोस्तों कुछ ना बोलते हुए बहुत कुछ बोल दिया ये समझिए आप सामने वाला ने कोई साइकोलॉजी की डिग्री नहीं करी हुई साइकेट्रिस्ट भी नहीं है वो बट उसने कुछ तजुर्बा लिया हुआ है जिंदगी से कि वो आप क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं वो समझ रहा है वो इंटरप्रेट कर रहा है बिटवीन द लाइन्स चाहे आप कुछ बोल भी नहीं रहे हैं राइट सो बहुत सारी चीजें हमारी बॉडी लैंग्वेज हमारी जो जो चीजें हमने अभी तक डिस्कस की है दे गो अ लॉन्ग वे इन शेपिंग यू एंड योर ब्रांड बिकॉज हाउ इट इज बीइंग आर्टिकुलेटेड इज द मेन थिंग 
स्पोकन वर्ड्स तो आपको पता है आपने दस बारी उसका एडिटिंग किया है और उसको चिपकाया है यू नो चाहे वो सोशल मीडिया में करा हो या एडवर्टीजमेंट करा हो या कम्युनिकेशन के लिए फोन पे रिंग टोन डाली हो ब्ला 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 देर लॉर्ड ऑफ टूल्स विच वी डू आफ्टर लॉर्ड ऑफ एडिटिंग बट देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ अन एडिटेड वर्जन ऑल्सो विच कॉलकुलेट डाउन विच वी इग्नोर बट इट इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट Ah, I come to my favorite topic, on which we don't spend even a single rupee because we feel we already groomed. That's the breadth of your brand. Breadth. Sound is your brand. Kiyo. सबसे पहले लोग आपको उससे जज करते हैं, ठीक है? आपकी freshness face की, आपकी post shave stumbles for men I'm talking about. Oily, dry skin, manicure, fragrance. Very important. Very important because all these things add an aura. Maybe I would like to. I had fixed just a fifteen minutes meeting with you, and I would like to extend it to one hour. You never know, right? We come up. Is my many kya nahi include kya that I can speak because uh, there's a reason why. Now the thing is uh, the colors which you wear. Very important. Colors, in terms of colors, you know how bold they are, and the combinations which you're wearing. all those things make you a brand and then you are carrying that brand of yours also on your shoulders so it's all intertwined absolutely intertwined very important to take care of all this very very important women freshness again hair neatly tied lip color makeup accessories oily dry skin manicure pedicure पेडिक्योर मेन के लिए नहीं डाला बिकॉज यू नो देर फीट इज ऑलर्ड बट ऑफकोर्स यू नो दैट इज योर ओन हाइजीन विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेग्रेंस नाउ फॉर वेमेन आई थिंक द बेस्ट प्लेस बिकॉज वी वी गॉट दोज ट्रेनिंग इन हॉस्पिटैलिटी एंड पीपल हु हैव बीन एसोसिएटेड विद योर लाइन्स यू नो दे आर द बेस्ट यू नो कंपनीज हु रियली टीच यू एंड गेट यू अलाइंड विद What is right and what the do's and don'ts of every organization in hospitality and the service mm -hmm. industry, of course. So, if your lip color light shade, then light shade he follow karna hai apko. You can't have a red lipstick going for a meeting. I'm sorry. You can't have long, long danglers which does not go with your attire. You have to have a simple style. Be simple. Simplest, minimalistic is classic. So, the way you carry yourself, the grooming which you do. you know speaks a lot so guys i think we are not spending too much of care and uh, focus on these things but these things are super super important for your brand because without that you're not doing that but then it speaks a lot no ye unspoken words mein hi aa raha hai aapne kuch nahi bola aap enter kiye kahi office mein and it speaks a lot right so question yourself are you doing it and if you're doing it then what is the level you want to do it imperative it can't be ignored can't be ignored i want to know this did anything open up for you today please share Please share. I want to know whether it did open up anything for you. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, uh, you know, since I've spoken a lot about body language, probably you know, I would request Atul also to put up a small video. Or just a little, uh, you know, uh, binding of all these things together. So, Atul, can we do that? Yeah. So you'll need to stop sharing. <clears throat> And also, uh, people, we are at ten thirty. 
um, can we request you for an extension? So, Tanan, how much time would we need? I'll just need five minutes to finish this off. Uh, in so, fact, so I'll just finish the slides and then we can have a small video. Done. So, so let's yeah. have a, um, an extension of around 15 minutes. So say till around 10.45. Okay. Yeah. So anybody who's interested in going through a few books, you know, this, these are a few books I follow. Probably you can, there are many in the market, but these are my preferences. So I thought I'll just share it with you. Guys, we are still in a week. There's a week to ourselves, right? Can we do a small survey sitting at our houses to our guest? Just create a small Google form and shoot it out to your current and your potential. Uh, potential to me, Oga, the guys you have done business with. Because this will actually tell you where you stand. Because there are people who don't speak why they are not doing business with you, but then probably this can open up for you. Your experience with us in the past, you know, in the rating of one to 10 maybe. What services you would want us to offer in the current scenario? Probably they can just put a word on it. Would you like to refer us? Is this question may have a lot of information. Yes or no? Maybe he just leaves it blank because it doesn't want to annoy you. So you can always add a few more questions on this, but then do send it to your current clients because there are a lot of things we don't want to listen but we should have the heart to listen. That's number one. And number two, we've probably not had this kind of entire thing uh, exercise ever. But this is the time to utilize it and get an insight of where our brand is. Because we have done a lot of but then there are a lot of things that are not coming because it doesn't want to share. So let's open up with our people, our, our potential clients. In the, in the past for new business, right? They have given us business, they have stopped it. Ah, this is a small uh, irresistible offer which I want to place on the table. Anybody who wants to engage is welcome. Up. I hope this session added some value. I would uh, request people to share some comments also. So, <clears throat> then yeah. just go to the previous slide. So, people, uh, this is the time when you must be investing on your own business. Okay. And what Taran is offering is something which is an investment in your own business. So my request to all of you is just put a yes, I'm considering. Why I see. Again, Taran, go to the previous slide. Keep it here for some time. So why? I, so if you are considering to have a session with Taran, just put in why I see. Why I see. Why I see. It goes something like why I see. Okay. So we got Jyoti Jain. We got Sushma Mehta. We have got me. Who else? Uh, Shami Kapoor, JP Singh, Manish Bajaj. Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's have some more. Why I see. Amrit Pal has just raised a hand. We'll come back to you, Amrit, uh, Amrit in a moment. All right, great. So I, I think this is like one, two, three, four, five, six. Some uh, around 10 odd people have said yes. So, uh, Taran, you would li uh, like to speak to them. Sure, sure. All right. Or, in in fact, uh, please share your number in the chat box so that people can take it and they can reach out to you. Right. Yes, now. Awesome. So, should I share your uh, um, video now? Yes, please. I'll stop sharing. Yeah, stop sharing. Great. Good morning, guys. I read a great quote just yesterday by Winston Churchill that said, We are a master over the words unspoken. 
It's not clear, no? Pleasure was all mine. Thanks for patient listening, all of you. So, uh, people, do you think Taran has done a good job? Just say yes, 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 yes. Or uh, don't say yes. Say awesome, 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 awesome. And then we'll come to the questions. So, people, please, please appreciate the person who comes and presents. She puts in a number of hours thinking through and then probably she's not slept yesterday evening yesterday night because she was to deliver it to the morning okay i don't know what is the scenario of the breakfast at her home she is sitting here so that she can serve each one of you does she deserve an awesome fantastic I think this is like too good. So we've got a couple of people who've raised their hands. Um, uh, Amritpal, please, un uh, I've just unmuted you and you can please ask your question. No, that I did by mistake. No question. Hey, when you are pushed into the pool, might as well. Okay. Uh, then we've got uh, Virendra Sahani. Virendraji, you got a question? No question, but an awesome session. Lovely. Really enjoyed it. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Manish Garg? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. you're audible. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. I, I'm, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have a question, Taran. It's like, see, uh, you would, what you talk about is Starbucks and, you know, you named all those big brands, right? But when it comes to a small uh, retailer like me, uh, who is into jewelry business for a, uh, for, from a family background, we are into this jewelry business for the last 45 years and it is still the same brand name. But we are still, you know, uh, only famous in Rohini Pitampur and Shalimar Bagh. We are not able to take it to India level or let's say Delhi level, Delhi NCR level. So how much do you suggest us to invest into a brand building? And what are the best possible ways? Because see, we cannot have a budget like Starbucks or, you know, Virgin Atlantic or, you know, we of cannot course. communicate that way, right? Of course, of course. Even if we take it, uh, even if you talk about uh, some Delhi level brand, uh, let's say, uh, I, uh, some, any of the brand, let's say PP Jewelers or let's say, you know, which has multi stores. We have just two, three stores. We don't right. have the 10, 20 stores and we are a you know, limited budget uh, company. Absolutely. So I would like your advice on that because yeah. we, whatever we talked about are the brands, big brands, but more, I am sure uh, there will be more retailers like me in this session. Yeah. Right, right. So uh, it's a very, very valid question, Manish, because, uh, you know, my intent of sharing the bigger brands was not because, uh, you know, obviously they have a huge budget, as you well said. They have, yes. have huge budgets, right? They have, because they've been in, one, they've been in existence for many, many years. Plus, they have a lot of yes. deep pockets. Number three, they are invested companies, right? People have invested in them, right? They get more margins also. Of course, yeah. of course over time. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm saying yeah. is, what why I picked up those brands on a particular sheet was to communicate a different point, saying that, you know, the brands were not made overnight, number one point. Number two, the engagements or the experiences which you get engaging yourself with those brands without even speaking. For example, if you get into a Starbucks, you know, the nod, the smile, the, the liberty to sit there for hours, you know, those are things which you get connected with that brand universally. You know, koi bhi brand mein US mein bhi chal the same uh, feel aayegi, jo A block ke CP mein aati hai. Am I right? I think you'll, you'll agree on that. What I'm trying you guys to pick up is the the values which that com company has already listed down now even if we are three shops you know we are three uh, shops of uh, selling jewelry but we still 
can create a brand personality that is in our hand we can create it we can communicate that to our internal staff we can communicate those values when we get in touch with the customer who is walking in for example agar wo hum hum ye decide karte hain ki hum ek sardiyon mein kawa pilayenge koi bhi hamare andar aa raha hai hamare office mein hamare showroom mein walk in kar raha hai those are my value or my system or my sop which i created in the system right so wo sabko na connect hone lag jata hai isse agar main i mean again taking an example of nullies of course they they don't advertise mm-hmm. right uh they have just started advertising they don't even discount the uh, company a uh, discount bhi nahi lagate sale bhi nahi lagate but unke wahan jo filter coffee milti hai i can relate it if you start doing a particular small small touch you know that becomes your brand recall you know kuch bhi nahi kara aapne bola bhi nahi kuch wo tray leke khada hai pani ki jagah pani ke sath wo bhi serve kar raha hai so people get connected you know there are some communication skills which you can start in your company in your in your showrooms jo consistent hai wo teeno mein chal raha hai wo aisa nahi hai so consistency is a key for creating a brand that is why i show those bigger brands because they are brands today today because unhone us value system ko rakha aur usi ko aage tak badhaya consistent manner mein toote nahi wo chahe unki sale hui nahi hui wo toote nahi theek hai so wo bada important hai kyunki mere mere internal bande ko hi nahi pata ki mujhe यू नो क्या किस लेवल का वॉन्ट दिखाना है किस लेवल की यू नो रेसिप्रोसिटी दिखानी है अपने कस्टमर को लेकर सो अगर मैं ही क्लियर नहीं हूँ ना तो मैं कम्युनिकेट नहीं कर सकता तो वो जो टच पॉइंट है ना इमोशनल टच पॉइंट क्रिएट करना है आपने so you mean to say that dressing of the staff and you know look and feel of the showroom and you know these things are more important yes manish and what about the investment investment in building up the brand communication to the customer like social yeah, media बड़ा सिंपल है आपकी वेबसाइट तो हमेशा ही होती है ठीक है सोशल मीडिया के माइनर एफर्ट्स आप हमेशा ही करते हो नाउ इट इज ऑल अप टू यू हाउ मच एट व्हाट फेज यू वांट टू पंप इन एक्स अमाउंट ऑफ मनी टू अचीव व्हाट यू नो दैट व्हाट्स हैव टू बी आंसर व्हाट अमाउंट व्हाट ऑब्जेक्टिव व्हेन यू डूइंग एन एक्सरसाइज यू नीड टू नो ना कि ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है अगर ऑब्जेक्टिव कुछ नहीं है खाली वेबसाइट और सोशल मीडिया से मेरा काम धंधा चल रहा है तो उसको वैसे ही रखो reach out to newer markets number 2 because aapko revenue to badhana hai reach out to newer markets newer database be uh, vocal about your brand in different networks you know so the more you talk about physically you know create a brand ambassador with you you know you can't be everywhere so aapka ek brand ambassador custodian ban gaya aapka jaisa jisme aapki jaisa zeal and passion hai fire hai wo aapko dhoondna padega apne system mein wo bhi represent kar raha hai aapko theek hai new networks mein aap gaye wahan pe aapka brand Uh, you know we, we are trying to be vocal That's, about our brand we'll move to the yeah. next question uh, sushma has a question yeah hi kavandi how are you hi. doing good thank you uh, you need to be loud uh, sushma okay uh, you can't hear me at all no no yeah, i can hear better, you yeah. okay. okay fine so uh, the thing is that uh, um, i wanted to ask you since the topic was pr and marketing and obviously branding now uh, i agree to manish's questions that we are small brands and we cannot be compared to disney and others please be slightly loud uh, uh, can yeah, you hear me now yeah, yeah 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 so i just wanted to ask you that what kind of pr uh, would you suggest for brands if they want to make a brand i mean opening a store giving coffee great i mean something common awesome an outfit understandable but other than that today everything is online and no one is stores are shut everything is shut so what do you do to continue with a with a brand right now for the next what do you do for pr as in question is see uh, i'll be very clear pr and media you know if you're thinking about pr and media that's a different ball game because that needs some money you know it, it involves money right because to plug the news in the pr space is also you you need to pay the pr agency right so there are other ways also because if we don't have money at our disposal there are ways there are ways in addressing and reaching out to people start blogs about jewelry there are lot of things people don't know about jewelry you know people i for example i am an accessory collector but then i don't know how to keep it safely you know how to keep the shine in there are lot of things which i don't know and likewise there will be lot of uh, men and women who don't know about it so start a blog start a consortium with maybe silverware and you know likewise you know uh, imitation jewelry make a group of people maybe three or four and you start addressing uh, people on a larger scale keep talking to them you know through maybe a session and likewise you know how do you kind of publicize your brand 
these are very simple things because zoom is cheap it's very cheap and you can get in maybe you know at least 50 log to aaye jayenge you know minimum 25 to 30 you build up and slowly you build up to more than hundreds and you know that's a journey which you have to create for yourself please reach out to people through this because that's the best way one you are communicating in more words it's not an ad in uh, for 10 words right you are talking aloud about a lot of things with a lot of knowledge a lot of uh, you know value add so there are a lot of things uh, sushma which one can do in less money it's not that money hi chahiye hota hai hamesha fantastic Uh, we've got sanjeev if uh, so sushma can you move on yes 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 thank, thank you thanks. sanjeev ji has a question yes sir an awesome presentation yeah okay great uh, vijay purti has a uh, question or he raises his hands uh, tarandi it was really wonderful to listen to you and uh, i think we should all focus on our personal grooming and all that and what i would be interested in is Okay, do you have uh, conduct some personal grooming classes, and what is the duration and what is the budget like? Uh, if suppose I want to take your personal grooming classes and all that, so how much time it will be sufficient and what will be the budget like? So, uh, sir, uh, there are two things involved in it. One is that I need to have a session with you over the phone, or you know, once the lockdown uh, gets over, I need to understand first. You know, you as a person. Where right. do you want to take yourself, and right. uh, a, a bit about your past and present, right? And future. Right. So once right. I know the entire objective, mm -hmm. you know, then I can give you a customized format, right? So yeah, these correct. sessions can be for half a day. These mm -hmm. sessions can extend for a day, right. and it also de depends. Another factor which depends is how many people are involved. If it's only for you, you know, yeah. maybe a four-hour session is more than enough. Or a three-hour mm. session is more than enough. So we need to see right. the paucity of time you also have as a helm of the affair, and what is the objective behind it. So we can always right. customize the package around it. Right, right. Thank you, Tarandi. I'll get back to you. Thank you awesome. very much. Love Thanks. It. Thank you. Fantastic. So uh, anybody else? Okay, great. So uh, thanks, Taran. Uh, now I'll invite uh, uh, J P Singh uh, to share a little bit. J P Singh is going to be our speaker for tomorrow. and tomorrow the session that we are going to have is on solar energy all right so while jp just unmutes and comes available so taran how has been your experience wonderful it's been wonderful because uh, you know on, honestly uh, once you bound me in this in a way after our discussion it's been a learning for me also because these subjects have been very close to me but then the kind of uh, you know thought process which i put together it's been some kind of opening even for myself so um, you know i think every session which you give there is some learning back at your place as well you know with you as well before you actually share it on the table yeah th that's very true every time a speaker comes and he shares something he grows himself so you grown yourself so sorry i'm saying he but yeah. then you know i'm from the other camp oh no of course <laughs> sure sure not a problem <laughs> right yeah Yeah, somebody was asking a question about yeah. being a small brand. Okay, so I'll give two examples. Um, one example is uh, if you are from Delhi, uh, you would know uh, this thing called uh, UPSC Chart Bandar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, that is a chart corner in uh, uh, tucked up in one of the by lanes, and yet people find no board, no number, nothing. yet people find the way and everything is by word of mouth this is just because of the consistency of the quality and the kind of service they provide okay or we talk about uh, uh, this one uh, narang uh, uh, bhalle in uh, chandni chowk all right both are these are some some of those places they have not invested even a single penny they don't even know b of brand and yet they built a life of their brand itself i think that's uh, something which each one of us should take back Right. So, JP, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. A uh, very good morning to everyone. I thought you were saying you became ready. When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I must say, you know, you have brought a lot of water in my mouth by taking the name of Narang Bhalle and UPSC Chart Bandar. So, let me just, you know, release the taste of those Chart Bandars and Bhallas first. Right. And uh, 
beginning with it was a very awesome to uh, listen to tarandeep ji uh, i really realized that uh, significantly about two points one is about uh, percentage of verbal to non verbal so uh, non verbal is 65% and verbal is only 35% so in general if we can put this is two raised to one so so two part of the communication is happening in a non verbal manner and uh, let me accept that we have been ignorant on that side so that's a very key learning and second learning was something some small small things which we often ignore and uh, in our daily life so those were the two key learning from tarandeep ji thank you so much tarandeep ji for those learning pleasure is all mine sir thank you so much so and, so bhai ji tell what is it that you are going to serve tomorrow so uh, thank you so much for the e growth for the opportunity for the tomorrow so tomorrow uh, my intent is to help my fellow indians to raise their sustainability in their businesses when we talk about sustainability we know that there is a huge pressure on cutting the cost there is a huge pressure on maintaining the survival how solar energy can help in bringing the sustainability to our businesses that is going to be the topic and there are so many myths and misconceptions about solar energy those myths and misconceptions would be surfaced out and how solar energy can help in bringing our businesses uh, in terms of sustainable electricity those would be discussed in detail so that's from uh, my side i look forward to the participation from the many of the members so that they can know that how solar energy can help them in reducing their bill to the zero ultimately fantastic so the topic as i can read it right now it's let's switch to sun to sustain in longer run wow all right so so uh, uh, people please schedule yourself to be there tomorrow if you want to see the sun shining even better even uh, more than uh, normal all right so that's uh, the topic for thing. yeah please uh, one more thing i forward to uh, say Uh, we have also made a video on the Earth Day. Uh, the Earth Day was on 22nd of April, so that was uh, uh, our gratitude to our Mother Earth. So I would be also sharing that video on the group today. So I look forward for your blessings on that video. Fantastic! Great! All right. And uh, 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 so thank you, uh, JP, for coming in. Thanks, Tarun, for thank such you, an sir. awesome thank session. I will take maybe around two minutes by the watch to share about e growth, and uh, uh, so that you know what we're uh, up to and how is it that you got this uh, session. All right, here we go. e-growth the leverage platform we are the world's first bad ecosystem bad stands for business advisory and development our mission is to empower and enable businesses since today was a session about branding about listening brand i i think i'll spend a couple of seconds on the brand that e-growth is our values are trust courage and growth as you can see we are a multicolored brand the three different colors they've got uh, uh, significance all right green is the color of collaboration saffron is the color of excellence blue is the color of opportunities saffron is the color from the indian flag all right and their placement is also pretty important uh, green is collaboration collaboration is the fundamental of any business so that comes at the bottom saffron is excellence that is something which helps you move forward that is why it is in the forward direction and blue is the color of infinite blue is the color of ocean blue is the color of the sky and opportunities are infinite so that is why it is placed at the top so as you can see we've got three arrows in our uh, uh, logo so we are firing on three engines simultaneously that is what e growth is for you e growth is exponential growth Okay. this is how we've grown over the years 2014 we started off uh, we've grown to around 25000 odd in 2019 and right now as we speak we have a community of around 28000 business owners across india these are some of the images of the events that we've conducted uh, this was punjab road trip in 2017 this one was west india road trip in 2017 this one was U startup india yatra in up so we were a technology partner with startup india for the uh, up yatra and uh, 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 so we were there okay there are some images from that and then there were uh, uh, 
there were uh, uh, boot camps which we organized for various trainings. Okay, so the one in the middle that is from a place called uh, Jadugura, which is around 20 kilometers from uh, Jamshedpur in uh, Jharkhand. The one at the bottom, this is uh, uh, in Shimla. So we were there with the uh, uh, Secretary of Industries, Government of Madhya Pradesh. All right, we've been doing a lot of stuff for women entrepreneurs, and that's what you can see here in these images. We also created uh, something called as a leverage model, which is a model to design your business. So this was the launch program sometime in July last year. Uh, we keep on doing various activities to engage the business owners. So e-growth inner circle is one, workshops and trainings is one, e-growth mixers. E-growth bazaar happens on Thursdays. Introduction to e-growth happens on Fridays. CEO talks, the one in which you are participating right now, this happens every morning, 9.30 to 10.30. This was a creation of the lockdown, but we will continue to have this even after the lockdown gets over. Then on every Saturday, we have a, a, a panel discussion wherein we invite people, different stakeholders from the industry. And then on Sundays, we have a lazy day. So that is why we call it the Chapal. Okay. So Sanjeev Ji, can I please invite you to share about the e-growth inner circle? Sanjeev ji is the president of the Inner Circle Initiative from eGrowth. Sanjeev ji, you there? Sanjeev ji, you there? Okay, so I think he's not there. I'm there. Yeah, yeah, please, please share then. Thank you, Atul. Uh, we are having this Inner Circle meetings every 15 days where we have a lot of people participating in it. Nowadays, it is all uh, online. Earlier, it was offline. Well. We were having it at the golf, golf course road. And uh, we plan to take it pan India. We The highlight of this uh, inner circle meeting is create session. In this create session, we are talking about the challenges of the business. Uh, we discuss the challenges, the resolution of that, the empathy involved in it. We analyze the business, the trust it needs, and how to empower the things. These are the very few things which we do apart from having industry experts speaking to us about various subjects. Thank you. Fantastic, thank you. So this is our portal, egrowth.org. I invite each one of you to go and explore the portal and consider to subscribe. We've got more than 18,000 users who've created the profile on the portal right now. There are more than 300 blogs which are already published. There are more than 250 events which are listed and there are around 500 odd uh, um, opportunities which are listed right now. Our social media handle is egrowth.org. We are present on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Insta, Twitter, as well as on WhatsApp. Okay. I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So what happens is all these talks that we are conducting, the uh, these get recorded and these get uploaded on the YouTube channel. So in case you've missed a portion of the talk, you can go and revisit it there. And if you want to see the previous talks, you can keep on doing that. Other than that, the other events that we participated in or we've interviewed various uh, entrepreneurs across India or across the globe, they're also listed there. So right now, as we speak, there are around 250 odd uh, videos which are already live and there are more to come. So e-growth framework, uh, so e-growth is based on a model which is called as e-growth framework, which has three elements to it. The first one is collaboration, which is all about bringing business owners together. The second piece is excellence, which is about taking your business to the next level. It has four pillars to it. The first pillar is networking. The second pillar is operations or the business operations. The third pillar is innovation and the fourth is learning. So you put these four things together, your business would never be the same again. And once you put these in place, then opportunities start walking into you rather than you chasing opportunities. This is the primary framework on which eGrowth as a platform has been uh, built. Okay, so we've been around for around six years and we've grown to around 30 or thousand uh, uh, strong over these years. I invite you to subscribe to eGrowth. You can opt for an annual subscription, you can opt for an enterprise subscription or go in for an extended subscription which is valid for 10 years. Or you can simply choose to register and be a registered user for 10 years. And at least what you can do is become a free user so that you are in the community and you, can, uh, you are in the know of what is happening here. All right. 
so when you subscribe, so there are some uh, offers from our partners. So one of the offers is there's a company called NX Incorporated who are one of our members. So they are offering free web hosting for 24 months. You can host up to three domains and get up to 15 mailboxes configured here. Okay, so the name of the gentleman is uh, Naveen Gill, and uh, uh, I can get you connected to him if you choose to subscribe to eGrowth today. Other offers are so there's another company called uh, Avotima Technologies. They've got a platform called AvoConnect. AvoConnect gives you free digital, so it does not give you free digital business cards. These are free digital business cards for the eGrowth community. Otherwise, they charge something like 500 rupees per annum. Okay, free web hosting. I just shared with you. One more of our partners is Favors. They are into deep cleaning and sanitization services. They offer 10% discount on sanitization services for eGrowth Associates. Okay, then RS232. This is Sanjeevji's company. They are an Apple dealer, so they offer cashback on purchase of iPhone, and they've got multiple other offers. Uh, other than this, there are quite a few eGrowth members who will be ready to uh, work out special deals for you. Uh, uh, depending on the kind of services that you're using from them. So like uh, uh, Taran, she is an existing eGrowth member and uh, if you choose to use her services, she'll give you a greater deal if you're an eGrowth member. Now coming to the annual subscription, it is priced at 18,000 rupees per annum. The deals that you get is registration, which is a one-time fee. Uh, it's uh, uh, 8,000 rupees that gets included if you subscribe now. Uh, instead of 18,000 rupees, uh, you are paying 12,000 rupees plus GST. So there is a 6,000 rupees plus GST waiver. Free web hosting is worth around 4,000 rupees. The digital card is worth around 500 rupees. Free inputs from a CA. On top of it, the uh, ticket for this CEO talk is actually priced at 200 rupees and you get 365 of such talks in one year which comes to 73000 rupees okay so that is available to you as part of this deal so we are talking about a benefit of around 90 odd thousand rupees if you subscribe to egrowth today and it is only at 12000 rupees plus gst uh, if you are able to put the math together, I think you must do it today itself. All right. So all what you have to do is you have to go to egro.org, go to the tab called subscription, and then you can complete your subscription formalities there. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us, to our team. Okay. So here are some of the talks which have happened in the past. So uh, this weekend we had a talk by the uh, by Mr. Uh, uh, Ukar Singh, who is the president of CICU Ludhiana. Um, Ashish was here last Friday. Uh, on Saturday we had a, um, a discussion called Coaches on the Couch, and then on Sunday we had Chapal. Other than this, on this Sunday, we also had an opportunity seminar wherein we had people from Kotak Life who were talking about passive income and work from home opportunities. You just listened to Tarandeep and these are the kind of talks that we bring to you on a regular basis. Tomorrow, we will have JP Singh who will be talking about uh, solar. So bring sun to your, uh, get sun to work for you. On Wednesday, we've got a gentleman named uh, Pashupati Kundu who will be talking about 4S uh, business chassis. So what are the bare bones requirements of your business building? That is what he'll be talking on. On Thursday, uh, which is 30th of April, we've got Kevil Kishan who will be speaking on automation through Google Suite. On Friday, we will have Ashish Kapoor who will be talking on digital sales. This will be his fourth consecutive talk over the past four weeks. On Saturday, we've got a, a discussion. This time it's going to be an interesting discussion which is about industry bodies, your friends. So we'll have a, a number of industry bodies on the panel who will be sharing with you why is it that you should uh, subscribe to various industry associations and what benefit is that they bring to you. On Sunday, we would have Chapal wherein you experience laziness. This is how the next week looks like and uh, there will be a lot more excitement around, uh, along the week. All right. So here are the coordinates. Uh, visit our portal egrowth.org. Uh, you can call up 8920926565. Uh, 
uh, Ronika is our person who manages the community. She will be glad to help you. You can send her a WhatsApp message in case she does not pick it and she will come back to you and uh, we'll be glad to help you to come on the community to get you onboarded. If you got, uh, if you're already on eGrowth and you got any concerns, you can still call her up or you can reach out to me and I'll be glad to support you. I'm available on atul at egrowth.org. So guys, this was a little bit about e 